Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, in July of 2016, my son took off for Europe. It was great. He was going to do something that I would have loved to have done, backpack around Europe and be free. And it was a joy listening to the different places he went. But then towards the end of 16, early 17, things just went downhill. In January, I heard what nobody really likes to hear. I want out. I found somebody new. I've been in a relationship for two years. Goodbye. It's over. And everything just went downhill. Well, during that time, you start finding out things about somebody you thought you knew that were just horrendous, the things that came from the other side. Well, through that time, I was always thinking about, we had talked about going to Scotland, to Edinburgh, to see my son and spend some time there. Well, my daughter was planning on going in June with her boyfriend at that time. And I was thinking about oh, September, taking a couple of weeks and going and doing some backpacking with my son. And since now I have no restrictions, no constraints, I told him, find something for me to do and send me off. I have to learn how to do things on my own again. Well, for Father's Day, he had bought me a ticket to go up to the Atlantic Ocean. Well, that would be great. Then June came and things went back downhill. I found out I was going to have nothing left. And my daughter's boyfriend left her. So now she can't go. I'm trying to figure out if I can even afford to do this. And the main thing was sending my daughter and granddaughter over there. Well, talking with my son, I said, OK, what I'm going to do is come with my daughter and go together. Well, both kids decided that I should take one week ahead of my daughter and go and spend time with my son. So we got everything worked out to the end of July. I thought everything is going to be great. The final paperwork is in. I headed for Scotland. Left on a Tuesday, got there Wednesday, got off the plane, grabbed the stuff, jumped in the car, and headed for the Cairngorms mountain range in Scotland. And I spent a half a day, another full day, and another half a day just backpacking around, enjoying the time with my son, and visiting with people from Germany, Switzerland, anywhere in between that were coming in and out of this area. And we just had a blast. Then we got back into Edinburgh. The next morning was my Father's Day present. Up early, on a train from Edinburgh to Glasgow, and then my son says, all right, you're on your own now, and stuck me on another train heading up to Malig. Well, I got off at Arisag. I got off the train. It started raining. 24 plus hours later, just before I got back on the train, it quit raining. So from the time I got off, I backpacked through the rain out to the Atlantic Ocean, set up a tent between the calmness, and then proceeded to climb in my tent, read for an hour until the rains quit, and then get out, enjoy the Atlantic Ocean and the scenery, and then back in for the next rain, and through the night. And it was just great. I had my Cuban cigar, and I had my little bottle of wine. I was just waiting for some place to enjoy this because of the wind and the rain. Well, I finally found that place watching a sea otter in a bay behind a little outcrop of rocks. That night, I made a lot of friends. Slugs that climbed up on the inside and dripped on me that kept waiting, waking me up at night. And the next morning, a frog that had gotten tired of the rain and wanted to leave with me. <clears throat> when I got up that morning, the rain quit just enough for me to make breakfast, pack up, get my rain gear on, 
and then for the next two and a half, three hours out, it rained, and it rained. Well, just before I left Arisag, the rains quit in beautiful weather. We got back, or I got back into Edinburgh that night. The next day, I had time to spend with my son, and then the next morning, our daughter, or my daughter and granddaughter arrived. And we had a blast just seeing the sights of Edinburgh, doing whatever we wanted to do. Well, then when I got back, I found out that, no, what we'd agreed to, no, that's out. To, that's out. We want more. We want more of this. We want more of that. So the fight was back on again. And I took another hit. But the end of September, I got the final papers. I left work that day early, picked up the final papers, went down to the DMV, got my vehicle, switched over to my name, grabbed my backpack and stuff, and I headed for the North Shore. It's supposed to be three days. Well, it ended up one day, faulty equipment. Ran into a nice lady. We backpacked that day. She said, as the clouds came in, well, I've had rain gear, but I've never had to use it. And I go, oh, no, you don't say things like that. Fifteen minutes later, we're putting on rain gear, and it rained till that night when we decided, all right, enough is enough. We went to bed. Next morning, got up. Nice weather, but since I, my camp stove didn't work, her tent and stuff was having problems, we headed back out. Met some great people. Got back out a month later. Went back up again for another two nights. But dang long legs. I got done in a day of what I was going to do two days. So I spent one night out. But each time I was up there, it was just getting away from things. It was therapeutic to sit out and listen to the wolves at night. So what I've discovered is when things get bad for me, throw on the backpack and head off into the wilderness and just put life aside and enjoy nature. It does so much for you. Madam Toastmaster. Yeah. <clears throat>